All right, show one, show one, brothers. Shalom. Hey, first off, want to give all praise, honor, and the glory onto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, I'm recording the dust. The Lord is to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, taught us his truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the Bayat that will die the house of David, man. So, you see the title, man, it's all about salvation in the Heavenly Father's kingdom, man. May the Lord uh, uh, bless you, Akim, all right, which means brethren, and the Paleo Hebrew, with the fiery scriptures, man. Let you know salvation is near, all right? It's much nearer than when we first believed, all right? So when we first came into truth years ago, man, you know, we didn't, we didn't really know what was going on. But we believed that it was going to happen. But now we see with these prophecies that's going on, we know that it's nearer than ever before, man. All right? That's why everybody's wearing a mask, because it's all about the pestilences, man. Oh, uh, that the, the Heavenly Father put forth these pestilences that's the reason why y'all have those masks because the heavenly father did this the lord the lord did this so that everybody's putting a mask on that's part of prophecy man all right it's biblical prophecy because the bible talks about these different plagues all right the plagues of egypt america is spiritually called sodom and egypt but you wouldn't know that unless you read the scriptures you see that's right but great men are not always wise. Come step over here. Come over here real quick. Come over here. Okay, all right. So we're going to bring out scriptures, brother, but, you know, it's all about the elders. You got to respect your elders. But that's talking about the elders that are in the truth. Not just anybody who's older than you. That don't, you know? The guy's got to be skilled in knowledge of the truth. But what is the truth? The Lord said that the, thy law is the truth. So anybody that's pushing the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, that's what we're going to deem as our elders, our teachers, our apostles. Because the word elder goes back to overseer or a bishop. Okay? So you can't be a bishop or an overseer unless you got the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. We're going to bring out some scriptures uh, about prophecies that is unfolding salvation because at the end of the day i want to be saved a lot of people don't know what what salvation means how to obtain it they still calling on jesus christo they still calling on jehovah yehovah it, it ain't no j in the hebrew man you got to call on yahweh why yahweh shot all right you got to flee from that damn idolatry man Let's go, champ. Go ahead. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake, to wake out of sleep. That's right. It's time to wake out of sleep because you thought that Cesar Borgia was going to save your ass. But there is no salvation in that name. It's Jesus Christ. The name is really supposed to be Joshua if it was in English. But there ain't no J in the Hebrew. There ain't no J in the, uh, in the English, really, prior to 1600. So why are we calling on Jesus Christ for it? You want to know why? Because the so-called white man told you to do that. And you up your father the devil. So you're going to literally do what the so-called white man told you to do. Because you love the white man. You got Our people got that deep, deep love for, for the white man. Yeah, but this man don't love you. Right. If he, if, <laughs> if he truly loves you, right? Then see, of course, our people gonna roll up their windows because they don't want to hear this truth. Okay, but that's fine. That's beautiful. That's all beautiful it did. Because guess what? The Lord gonna destroy you, so-called men. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. You on this side, all right? But guess what? You will be destroyed because you don't want to hear this word. Okay, so you can roll your window up all you want. All right, but anyway, back to the point of it is, what was you saying, huh? Uh, we were just talking about um, the salvation of the Lord. The salvation of the Lord is coming near to the is coming near to the Israelites, man. It's not coming for Mexicans. It's not coming for Haitians. It's not coming for any other those people with these names right here on this side. It's coming for the Israelites, the ones who know that their their, their nationality is true nationality, man. That's right, okay. The so-called white man gave you that name Mexican. What does Mexican mean? What the hell does Puerto Rican mean? Puerto Rico, that just means rich pork, man. 
You really from the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Ishakar. You don't even know that, man. In Mexico, the treasures in the sand that is pertaining to the tribe of Ishakar is oil. The oil is the main export. That's the breakdown on the tribe of Ishakar. And that's why the Lord said, the second Exodus, the 13th chapter, starting with the 40th verse, that we'd be scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. And we went to a place where never mankind dwelt. What you think the Aztec empire is about? What you, who the hell are the Aztecs? The so-called Mexicans, which really are the tribe of Ishakar spoken of in the Bible. Because we know the prophecies in the history, man. We actually studied the history. It said that the Ishakarites, which are the so-called Aztecs, would have an understanding of the times. And knowledge of the stars. And guess what? They got the Aztec calendar. They also built the Aztec pyramid within inches from the one in Giza. And how did they know that? Because they was measuring the stars, man. They had the measurements all perfectly lined up together. That's how we know that we're God's chosen people, man. And that the so-called Mexicanos, you're really Israelites from the tribe of Ishakar, and you need to wake up and stop following that stupid ass customs of your people, man. Following the so-called white man telling you that Halloween is coming up. Better go get your little uh your little costume on, man. All that shit is pagan garbage idolatry, man. And they do a sacrifice, you know? And they do a sacrifice in around Halloween too. This so-called white man that did it the other day with an amber alert, right? They sacrificing kids, man. Yeah, they're just an amber alert okay. on the way here. This man is a duck. You keep believing in this so-called white man, that's gonna be your damn destruction. He coming for you, damn so-called Negro, Latino, the Native American. But you still got love for this man? Yo. Hey, you gonna do everything he told you to do. You gonna eat Thanksgiving dinner. You gonna celebrate a uh, uh, pagan pagan Christmas, which is really the winter solstice, man. Right. That's the damn winter solstice. They do a sacrifice around that around that time too. Yeah, they're sacrificing little babies, man. Right, 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 right. What you think Hollywood and all this bullshit? They got all this stuff. Uh, uh what they call it? Uh, uh, kidnapping kids at the Pizza Gate. What you think that was in preparation for, man? Pizza Gate is really a, a code terminology for pedophilia, man. That's too much. That's speaking in code, man. Hey, man, let me get a large pizza. Why it costs ten thousand dollars? Because you ordering a kid, man, for human trafficking. But these people can't take the truth, man. They ain't ready to receive the truth. They don't know the truth of the truth. Hit them upside the head, man. <laughs> if I drove a car with the truth on it and hit you with it, you still wouldn't receive it, man. They'll still be uh, against it. And that's why their spirit is vexed, because they think we're talking to them, because right, maybe the Lord is talking to you, man. The Lord is talking to you, man. Because we ain't just Sunday best pastors, man. And then they try to stir up other spirits to try to agree with against you. Because I believe me, man. I've been around the block for a while. I know how it go. You know, you want to go get a co-defendant to get somebody to try to defend your logic of, of nothing. Your logic against the truth, which really ain't no logic, all right? Because there's nothing that you could do against the truth but for the truth. You're just proving our point with your madness because you fulfill the scripture. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. That knowing the time that is now, it is high. Oh, it's buying against us. Of course. It is high time to wake out of sleep. Right. Yes. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, it's time to wake out of sleep. You think you're a Mexican, man. You you believe you're Mexican because of the so called white man. He told you you was a Mexican. Remember the Alamo? When they beat your ass at the Alamo and they stole your land, which they stole New Mexico. They called it New Mexico, too. New, meaning revived. Then they done took your land. California's your land. Part of it, part of it's Native American heritage, man. So-called, which really is a tribe of Gad. But we got the truth. We gonna tell you the truth, man. You keep worshiping Jesus Christ and shaving your face, the Lord's gonna kill your ass, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right. 
Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, right? Because we have the truth. We see the end times. But matter, matter of fact, I get Matthew 24 chapter and jump all the way down to about, uh, you know, okay. what started? Started at the top? I read that today. When I was yeah, so you know what started at the top? This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse number one. And Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus, went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came unto him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another. It says that shall not be thrown down. So your damn kingdom's going down. This kingdom of the white man is going down. There's nothing you people can gainsay or do behind our backs, talking junk about the men of the Lord. The Lord hears what you're saying, man. And he's going to pay you back for it, man. He's going to destroy your ass. Every idle word, which means worthless word, that men shall speak, shall give an account thereof on the day of judgment, man. So you're going to have to deal with Yahweh Shai. Just to go get a co-defender. We see you over there, man. The Lord sees you, man. Go ahead. Oh, matter of fact, that's, that's me. <laughs> read, 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 read. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? End of the end of the world. Right, and the end of the world. And we we living in the end of this current age. Yep. This current rulership of the so-called white man. Right? This man's kingdom is full. As you see the sun coming out, because while the prophets are out teaching. All day it was gloomy and doomy and shit. But the prophets came out to teach and the most high bring the sun out. Why? Because the prophets is out here prophesying against this dead wicked kingdom. Against this kingdom. Falling. That's right. Idolatry of uh, Halloween. Right. You celebrate Halloween, the Lord gonna jack your ass up, man. Right. And rightfully so, man. Rightfully so. As should be, man. As should be. Go ahead, brother. This is Matthew 24 and 4. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. All right. Oh, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on, many shall come in my name. There's a lot of guys coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, but they coming, they coming in the name of Jesus Christ, though. But not the true name of Yahweh Shai. Right. Jesus Christo. Jesus Christo, like that guy over there is uh uh what is that? Uh Siberia, right? What's his name? Sergi or Ser Sergi or whatever his name is. Uh uh he came in the name and he was deceiving people for decades, man. Yep. About three decades, man. Yep, Siberian Jesus. Siberian, yeah, come on, Hey, brother. man, he just got caught with damn sex toys, man. Because that guy's not Jesus. The Lord is uh, is in the skies with, uh, on the right-hand side of the Father. And plus, and plus, the Lord said he was coming back in a chariot. He wasn't is, coming back. Go right, ahead, which is like a mountain, man. It's going to be the size of a damn mountain that's going to be out in the world. So you know that guy was off. The Lord said he was going to return back in the chariot. Tells you that in the book of Acts. Tells you that in Revelation. Tells you that in Matthew 25th chapter. Should I go on? So that guy, that came, that, that, that nigga, right? Because that's what he is. Because he ain't the Lord, man. Now I was trying to look like my dead pasty face devil, man. And he never will be. That's right. That's part of the deception. But these so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, all right, so-called black people, you so goddamn hypnotized by the culture of the white man. Because he he put that damn uh, a symbolism of that white Jesus. And you 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 you, you destroyed by that, man. You think that's God, man. But you stupid as hell. Because there's no way that a man with a pasty face, pale skin, can live in the damn Middle East, man. He plastered that thing all over the world, man. Well, let's go back to the word Adama, Adam. Right. That means from the ground. Color what color is the ground? The ground is the, the color of dirt and soil is dark brown. So how the hell is the Lord a pasty faced white leprous demon? You out of your damn mind. When Moses put his hand in his jacket and then took it out, it was white, it said. 
in contrast to his skin. So he didn't have translucent chicken looking skin, man. <laughs> the Lord ain't look like no goddamn Purdue chicken that you go get from stop and shop, man. Or shop right, or shop right all right? Or price right for you people. Because you probably, you don't understand, man. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Okay. Behold, he cometh with clouds. God, every... Salaki, give me uh, uh, verse 13. Jump, uh, we want to jump down to the, Yeah, let's get straight to the to how Yahweh Shai looks since we're talking about yeah, it. Since we're on it, let's just get into it. Yep. Go ahead. Well, give me Revelation 4. Uh, uh, yeah. Yep, because we're going to prove the gainsayer. We're going to convince the gainsayer. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Say it aloud again, brother. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Yep. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right. His, his head, head and his hair. Right. Uh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. You got it. Yeah. Right. yeah, the Lord's head and his hairs were white like wool. Yep. What people got woolly hair? Not the white man. Go ahead. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. But and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, that's not being stupid. The Lord was drinking wine when he was on the feet. Okay. First of all, he was stretched out as he as he should be. Right? Because he had to carry, he had to carry deal with niggas. Man. He had to carry the burden of your sins, of our sins upon his shoulder, man. Like it tells you in Isaiah the 53rd chapter. Right? Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine bread. Right, and his feet like unto fine bread. Go ahead. As if it were burned in a furnace. Now, when you Ooh. put something in a furnace, it gets dark, right? When you burn something, it gets dark. But guess to show you, the Lord was a, a, a dark skinned man. Go ahead. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Right, he had a loud voice. His voice could be heard from over there and over there and over there. It was like the sound of many waters. When water is rushing, it's loud. So that's how the Lord's voice was. Go ahead. Then he. It's verse 16. Yep. And he had in his right hand seven stars. Uh -huh. And out of his mouth went a, two -ed, a sharp two-edged sword. Uh -huh. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. That's it. Oh, yeah. he, had, he had wisdom. The Lord was full of wisdom, man. Okay? He was full of wisdom. Full of knowledge. And he had spiritual power. Just so you know. Yeah, so the Lord, the Lord was dark-skinned. That's right. All right? Now, you may say, well, why does that matter? Well, the Lord said, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. The Lord said the whole book is written of him. The Psalms of David, all right, all the books of the prophets, the Old Testament, the New Testament, everything, everybody, man. That's all concerning the Lord, who you call Jesus Christo. It's really named Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai is deliverer, man. You can keep being a goddamn scoffer or a gainsayer, but that ain't gonna change the truth, man. Because the truth is always gonna be the truth. One plus one always gonna equal two. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. So when the men of the Lord are bringing out salvation, we talk about faith first and foremost. But we bringing out the details of how our Lord looked. Because that's part of the goddamn deception. And the Lord said, if you see me, you see the Father. So obviously, it goes to show you that the Heavenly Father is a so-called black man. Yep. Right? So because the Lord is a so-called black man, so now what? Yeah, Peter said, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. I and believe it's Peter. I think it's one of them. No, well, he said, he said, he's looking, he's looking at him. If you see me, you've seen the Father. If you see me, you've seen the Father. And if you've seen us, you've seen the Lord, man. Why? Because we are one with Yahweh Shah. We are the body of Yahweh Shah. We are the body of so-called Jesus Christ. Go ahead. This is Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, yep. whose loins were girded with fine gold of up of up has. You fast. You fast, uh -huh. Verse 6. His body also like the barrel. And his face has the appearance of lightning. So he had a, he had a green dark, uh, a, a green garment on, man. He had a long green garment all the way down to the foot. Go ahead. And his eyes as the lamps of fire. Eyes as the lamps of fire. Read it with Revelation, the first chapter. Or, uh, Genesis, the 49th chapter. Go ahead. And his arms and his feet like like in color to, po to polish brass. Say it again. Say it again. Correct. Yep. And his arms and his feet 
like in color to polish brass. There you go. The Lord is a so-called dark-skinned man. Okay? Yeah. So there's no way he looks like the, the uh, Renaissance painting of so-called Jesus. Because when you look at the word Renaissance, it means what? Rebirth. Rebirth. What you mean rebirth? Because you're trying to change the images. Give me that scripture where it says that they shall change the uh, cover of the faces of the judges thereof, man. That, hold on, I got that's, that. what, that's Job 9 and 24. Job 9 and 24. I got, hold on, let me get this here real quick. I got you, brother. This is uh, First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. There you so, go. There you go. The heathen done did that, man. And we know that the heathen took over in the 1700s. All the English people, all right? They were the ones ruling the Middle East, oh, over there in the, uh, Europe, Europa. Who the hell named Europe? Right, hey, let's get down to the details. Who the hell named Europe? Who named America? A lot of you people, you don't even know why the hell you in this country. You don't even know the name of this country. Goes back to an Italian map maker, man, called Amerigo Vespucci. But you worshiping that garbage, calling yourself an American. Because you're stupid, you don't do no research. And we're telling you like you are, you're stupid. Because the Lord called you stupid. He called you saddest children, man. Because you don't like to research nothing. You don't like to read nothing because it takes too much damn time. So you'd rather stare off into space doing nothing for the same amount of damn time, man. Talking about you ain't got time. No, you just don't know how to prioritize your damn time. But the, but the high priority list is the word of the most high, first and foremost, and serving the Lord. That's number one. Number two would be your woman and all that, and then your children, man. On down. That's the list of priorities, all right? Serve the most high with fear and trembling. Because now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed, man. We don't got time for this folly shit, man. Okay, get that Job real quick. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This is Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not where, and who is he? Yeah, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. What do you think the Renaissance period was all about? Yeah. It was all about covering the faces of so-called Jesus Christ. That's why you people put white Jesus in your goddamn house. Or the Lord's going to destroy your ass. You put them up in the churches, man. And when we ask you, well, why don't you prove it out in the scripture? And you can't do it. You want to know why? Because you lying. You perpetrating the fraud. The Lord's going to jack you, man. The Lord's going to destroy your ass, nigga. He said, shut up. He said, shut up. Yep. Yeah. 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 This Matthew 24 and verse 32. Okay. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. Uh -huh. When his branches get tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know not, it's lucky, ye know not, it's lucky, you, you know that summer is not. Right, so we know what time we in, right? When it's, when it's summer out, we know that everything, the leaves start growing. When it's winter out, we know that it, the leaves go away. Fall, they come back in, the things of that nature. Go ahead, brother. So likewise, ye, it says, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door right so meaning the time meaning uh like he read in romans the 13th chapter the 11th verse that our time is night are near right so this is what yahweh shah is speaking about he's speaking about all the things that are happening according to prophecy this is what's going on but he put it in a parable to them go ahead verily i say unto you uh -huh. this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled right this generation ain't gonna pass all these things be fulfilled Go ahead. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Meaning the Lord's words is forever. Right. And that heaven is talking about rulership. Rulership. The so-called white man's rulership is going to be taken down. 
all right? Because we the first uh, fired, last hired. That's all the goddamn time. And yet these people still trust in oppression, man. They clearly still talking shit now, man. That, that's okay. The Since Lord, we opened up. That's okay. The Lord gonna judge him, man. The Lord gonna judge all. Matter of fact, he gonna judge all three of them, man. Okay? See what you got, brother? Ecclesiastes. Okay, let me see that. Go ahead. Let me see. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. To everything, there is a season. Whoa, 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 whoa. To everything, there is a season. Right? We in the season of deliverance. Lord willing that we be a part of that elect, man. We in the season of prophecy. We in the season of all things getting ready to break loose. All hell getting ready to come to America. You best believe that. Go ahead. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. Uh-huh. A time to be born and a time to die. Right, a time to be born and a time to die. Hey man, these people was talking right? shit over here. A time to be born and a time to die. They almost missed their damn bus. Right, so guess what? You don't want to be born right now. Uh, uh, if anybody having children, I mean, I'm not telling you, you know, what to do or whatever. But it's not real. It's not. Yeah, right. It's not circumspect like your brother said. Shalom, Melvin. Shalom. Okay. It's not something that you want to do right now. Shalom, my. It's all hell about to come to this place. Go ahead. A time, a time to be born and a time to die. Uh -huh. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Right, and we're planting the word. We're planting the word for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're really looking for the elect. We're really fishing for the elect. That's our main job. Right, and there's a time to be born. Right. There's a time where you can have babies right. and you can flourish in this kingdom. Right you can't do that shit no more, man. Right you can't be having no babies out right now, man. And you see people dropping like goddamn flies, man. They dropping like flies, all these damn celebrities. You got Kobe Bryant just kicked the damn bucket. All right? Uh-uh, who else died, man? Uh, uh, there's a few, there's a few. Man. There's a lot of them, man. We can go back and check them all. Oh, the Black Panther. Uh, the Black, the Black, Black Panther. The died. The symbol of blackness and all which is black. That died, man. Because you know why? Because the Lord is destroying the mirth of this kingdom. And even if God said himself, he said, hey, man, and some lady was trying to influence him or uh, interview him, rather. And she said, hey, uh, when's going to be the next Black Panther movie? You ready for Black Panther 2? And he said, nah, man, I'm dead. I'm dead. And she goes, nah, I don't say that. He goes, no, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Because <laughs> he knew he was stage four cancer. His ass is out of here, man. Because that's the mirth of this land. The joy of America the nice music that they used to hold, man. That shit is over with, man. The music sucks. All you got is with a pumpkin set. Molly, Molly, pumpkin set. Molly, Molly. That shit is retarded, man. You can't play that stuff in front of no respectable type people, man. And the scriptures say whatever is pure, whatever is just, whatever is lovely, whatever is of a good report, think on these things. And you can't be, you can't even listen to that garbage. It's a bunch of garbage, man. A time to kill. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 3. Get a little bit louder. With your diaphragm, your voice. Your upper chest. <laughs> a time to kill and a time to heal. Yeah. And we and we heal it. And right, the Lord is going to come back healing. And he's going to have healing in his wing. And it's a time elect. for the Lord to kill. So lock it. And it's, yeah, and it's a time for the Lord to kill. And he's going to he's going to do a lot of killing. Isaiah 66 tells you that. Yep. Look at the coronavirus. There's a goddamn million deaths. Right. Where did that come from? Oh, man made that. And well, the Lord, the scriptures say that the oh, Lord does the killing, man. The Lord, I, the Lord, do all these things. If somebody dies, it's because the Heavenly Father had ordained it. And your ass to die. Are we going to rejoice and, and literally wash our feet in the blood of the wicked, just like King David said? And that ain't talking literal. That's talking about we're going to rejoice when they ask catch the judgment. Because you 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 deserve the damn judgment for all your damn wickedness, man. You Elon Musk, the Lord's gonna destroy your ass. The way you proud as hell over our people, think you better than us, and you smell like funky ass bo. Staring us down when we going to the stores. Yeah, yeah, come. On. Yo, they all stare us down when we going to the store. They look dead at you in your eyes, staring you down as soon as you go into their goddamn store. 
and they shouldn't even be looking us in the eyes, man. These people got some damn nerve, man. We are the prince of the power, man. Go ahead, yep, because the Lord said, whoever touched my people touched the apple of the Lord's eye. A Yahweh. Yahweh. Well, Shem Yahweh Shai. People don't even know what God to call on. What you gonna call on? A tarot card reading? You gonna call on Miss Cleo? She's dead. Lord she she died of colon cancer. The brother looked it up on the way here. Miss Cleo, she didn't know that, and she was a lesbian, man. Oh, wow. Miss Cleo, that that lady, call the hotline, call it the hotline, call the hotline, and I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know that I'm going to die in a couple of years. She's doing witchcraft. I didn't know that. What's the Lord say about witchcraft? Thou shalt not suffer, suffer a, a witch, witch to, to live. live. We're not supposed to allow no damn witches to live, man. She got put to death in her kingdom. Yup, she got put to death. Barack Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shai, man. Woo! Hell yeah. Woo! That's beautiful. Rick Flair on him. Woo! Woo! Go ahead, brother. A time to break down and a time to build up. Time to break down and we break it down this man's kingdom. Through the word. That's how we break it down. This man's kingdom. This, this word is killing this man. It's killing this man. He's trying to get rid of this word off of the YouTube. But no matter what, the word already went out, no matter if you get rid of it or not, man. Okay? It's already out there, baby. It's flourishing. <laughs> Go ahead. A time to weep and a time to laugh. And we ain't weeping right now. We ain't in laughing. We ain't in the kingdom. We don't be a time to laugh. What are we laughing at? Right, and all, and all people believe that it's the time of joy going to the clubs, taking selfies at the clubs. You can't do that no more. You got little kids, 13, 14 years old, and their mothers who are harlots on Instagram posting pictures of them deadlifting weights at 13 with a mask on talking about, you, you look retarded, my man. I mean, I, somebody got to pull you to the side, yo, my man. You look retarded, man. I'm just telling you this to help you out, honestly. Like, I got to tell you, as, as a friend, you look like a retard doing that. You really look retarded, man. I'm just saying, man, just take the mask off for the photo. You want to put it back on afterwards? But with, with the photo, with the mask, with the surgical mask on, you look like a goddamn simpleton, man. All right? Let's break down the word retarded, meaning you're slow of mind. That's what you are. You're slow of mind. You're late. Right. And our people man. wouldn't, like I said, they wouldn't know <laughs> salvation. <laughs> If they got hit with a bus with salvation on it, they wouldn't even know what hit them, man. Because all people don't understand the salvation of the Lord, man. The one, first and foremost, it's only for these people in the sign, the Israelites, man. When you go to Psalms, the 89th chapter and the 34th verse, bring that out, man, real quick, man. It said, the Lord said, I will not alter the covenant that I made with David and his seed, man. With David, King David and his seed, I will not alter the thing that comes out of my lips, the Lord said, man. Are you stupid ass Christians, all right? Christianos, which that old that term came from after 200 AD, all right? Nobody was calling themselves Christians. They was called Christians by the Gentiles in 200 AD. But you don't study because you don't give a damn, man. But we do because we are the men of the Most High. We are the men of the Lord, man. Go ahead, Go ahead with that scripture. Listen up. This is Psalms chapter 89, verse 3. No, not 34. Verse 34. Oh. 89 and 34, huh? I will not alter the thing. I believe it. You'll see it. Right. Now, Psalm chapter 89, verse 34. Go ahead. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's what said. Hold on. Oh, That's a bombshell. Oh. That's a bombshell. Yeah, you got the Christian pastors going, oh, no. This is raining. <laughs> this raining debris. So guess what that means? <laughs> guess what that means? That means that no other nation can get involved in this thing Wait, that we have. I think we got to repeat that. Go ahead. I think they choked on yeah, that. Yeah, they, they choked hard. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read, read it from the top. Hit the one before that, too. Yeah, the one before that. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. This is, this is, go, champ. This is, this is Psalm chapter 89, verse 33. Right. Yep. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, uh -huh. nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. Ooh. Woo! Verse 34, my covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Right, so he ain't giving, so he ain't giving this thing to everybody. Everybody can't get this thing. He only made a covenant with the nation.
nation of Israel. A covenant is an agreement, a contract. So guess what? The contract is between two people. A contract ain't between fucking everybody. Right, right. When I say pizza for everybody that's in the room, that's the, I ain't talking about the entire world and all of its inhabitants. I mean, you got to be simple. You really got to be something simple, special simple, man. You got to be one of them people with the little bus, the little short bus, okay? <laughs> and some people drive that, look, some people ride that short bus because you badass kids, all right? Not everybody's slow, but I'm just saying, you got to be on a real short bus and going to school, and I think we had a thing called SWAS. SWAS. I don't know what they called it in y'all y'all joint, but they called it SWAS, all right, back in uh, my, my little joint when I was younger. That's all the special kids was in there, man. They needed special attention. If you just needed special help, if you need somebody to help you know what's going on, okay? Because the kingdom, the, the promise was made through David's line. Henceforth, why Matthew 1 opens up with the generations of your shy. Then it goes through King David's line to prove his royalty, man. Because royalty is Israel. Psalm chapter 89, verse 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. My covenant will I not break. My covenant will I not break, nor alter. Because people say, well, that, that, that changed. That changed. Read it one, one last time. This is it. This is the last time, all right? I might bring it out later, but right now. Psalm chapter 33. I mean, Psalm, Psalm chapter 89, verse 33. Now, 34. 34, brother. This is Psalm chapter 89, verse 34. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Right, that's the Lord saying that. Go ahead. Once I have, once have I sworn by my holiness. The Lord sworn by his holiness. Go ahead. That I will not lie unto David. So he ain't going to lie unto David. Because the Lord ain't going back on his word. He's not a wishy-washy, fat cat pastor, big butt, fat cat pastor, Collecting your tide money. He's collecting your damn tide money with a remote control toy car. Because he's scared of COVID-19. Didn't Paul say, I drink a deadly thing and nothing will hurt me, man? You're over there scared of COVID-19, man. Corny as hell, man. Go ahead. His seed shall endure forever. His seed. It's somebody that's my seed right there. That's your son. Your sons. The seed is specifically tailor-made to signify the line of lineage, the generations of a particular line. The grafting in in Romans, the 11th chapter, you can't graft in different trees into a, a citrus tree, man. It's got to be the same genus. For you people that don't know science, of the same gene line. You can't take a damn cedar tree and put it with a, with a citrus tree, man. Or you might graft it in for a little while, but eventually it's going to fall off and die, man. That's why you got to study, man. Go ahead. <laughs> you and have to. Throne, you have to do it. And his throne as the sun before me. Right. It shall be established forever as the moon. No, no, just until the Lord comes. It then shall it's... be established forever as the moon. Right. Well... Yeah, but then when, see, when the Lord came on the scene, it he shall be established forever as the moon. As the moon. Go ahead. I mean, the moon is never going to go nowhere. And the moon, yeah, yeah, listen, listen. And as a faithful witness in heaven. It's a, as a faithful witness in heaven because the so-called white man can't take a rocket to the moon. He that proves went. it right there. He never went. Because you'd be able to blow it up with your technology because you know you would do it. If you could do it, you'd blow it up for fun. You'd blow it up just to mess up everything, man. Cause that's what you do. You're the harbinger of death. Is that it? He's <laughs> like Sonic the Hedgehog. He's like, don't do it. He's like, I'm doing it. I'm going for it. This is numbers, <laughs> numbers 23, numbers 23 and 19. It says, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Yeah, the, the heavenly Father is not a man that he should lie. Go ahead. Neither the son of man that he should repent. The son of man ain't no liar either, man. Because he's doing the will of the father that sent him. Go ahead. Have he said and shall he not do it? So the thing that came forth out of the men of the Lord's, the prophets that told you that the Lord was going to do something, he did perform that thing which he sent out forth to do with his word. Go ahead. And 
It says, or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? And he going to make good on his promises, man? And keep going. Keep reading. Watch. There's another one. Verse number 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. Woo! He can't reverse it. So almost the Lord, got the chills on that. So the Lord, the Lord says something. He can't reverse it. Made him just <laughs> made him do the hall of shame. on that. The hall of shame. Yeah, so the Lord says something. He ain't going to reverse it. He's not going to go back on his word. So right there, in that verse right there, Psalms 89, 34, the Lord said he's not going to alter the covenant. So the covenant is ultimately staying with who? Yeah, well, let's, let's prove it, though, because they won't believe. we got to get Romans 9 real quick. Get me Romans 9, Romans to shine. Yep. And then we got to get, we, we just read it from the top. We got to go quick, though. Got to load them up. Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. Yep. I say the truth, and I must yet. Uh -huh. I lie not. My conscience also bear with me witness in the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. That's right. So his conscience bear witness because. He believed in the scriptures and he knows that it's wrong to lie. So he said, I'd say the truth in Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Lord, because the Lord represents righteousness, I lie not. So he's not gonna lie on the Lord's name. He ain't gonna lie on the Lord's name. That's why he knew the judgment of that. And you clearly saw people get put to death back then for doing such things, man. That's what Paul is saying. Go ahead. Sapphira. Yep, Ananias, Sapphira, they died. died. They died. You saw them die as a witness. Go ahead. Verse 2. That I have great, great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Uh -huh. For I wish, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamasiah for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Like my he's kinsmen. Saying, he's saying he wish he could get up. He wish he could get up there and do that. Right. Pretty much. For his brethren, for his, his kinsmen according to the flesh. Who, it's about Israelites. Yeah, who exactly are Israelites? Oh, 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 wait, is it? Who are Israelites? Nah, man, or anybody who believes. Who about, are Israelites? Oh, well, they were scattered everywhere. Who today. are Israelites? <laughs> to who pretended the adoption whoa, and the glory? Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. whoa. No, I didn't know it say that. To who pretended the adoption? The adoption of what? Coming back to being, coming back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. We were adopted back by the, by, uh, uh, by Yahweh Shai being put up on the cross. Because while we were Gentiles, and you was graft, you was wild by nature. You're the wild olive trees that's talked about in Romans the 11th chapter that he's about to lead up to. Right. You see, the Bible was one written letter, man. It was codified to try to help you understand. But the Lord put the Spirit on men to codify it. Look at that, the Spirit. Yeah, and if you open somebody else's mouth, it's a federal offense here in America. <laughs> but not to the Christians. Right. The Christians open our mail all the time. They pick it up and assume our identity, man. Huh. As I say all the time now, Christianity, Christianity is centered around identity theft. It is. It is. Identity. Somebody it's ought to call life lock. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call a, uh, what do they call that Safeguard or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> whatever they call it. Call a, uh, oh man, ID, ID shield or some shit. <laughs> who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? So who pretended the adoption and the glory and the covenant? The glory is oh. the kingdom. The glory is the kingdom. The covenants are what? The first covenant that we that was made with us, and obviously the second covenant that's made with us come when Yahweh Shai came on the scene and he sacrificed his life. He says the covenant. To who pertaineth the covenants? Just right. like the covenant that the Lord swore he would not alter unto David. Right. That covenant? Right. Same covenant? Same covenant. Same covenant. Must, Same covenant. must be. Same it must be, covenant, man. But minus, the, minus the sacrificial law. Minus the sacrificial laws, man. Same covenant. Because Yahweh Shai was the unblemished lamb, as he's known as the lamb of God, given once and for all for the Israelites. So all things apply. So all things apply. Except everything. Everything applies. Everything besides those laws. Besides those laws. Go ahead. In bro. one, you don't got a, a temple. You don't have a temple to go sacrifice to. Nope. In two, you can't fully identify a Le Levitical priest right now. In three, you have no you have no animals to go sacrifice. Yeah. Right? You don't even have a damn farm. Jake don't own no damn farm. Yeah, you don't own anything, man. Because you're property of the state, man. And that's a fact. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or oh, wow. the prophets. I am not come to destroy 
But to fulfill. That's right. Yahweh Shai came on the scene to fulfill the first half or the first half of what he needed to do. The prophecy that it was written about, like he said in the Psalms, everything that he was summoned to be born all the way up to his death. Right? And now the second part of it is when he's coming to deliver the nation of Israel. Yo, that left. That nigga look like Freddy Krueger, man. He you know, like, you see, he's looking at yeah, him. Yeah, that nigga like Freddy Krueger, man. Hey, he was like this. He was like, destroy the law but to fulfill right now peep the peep game right I tell you I tell you like the OGs come here son come here young man come over here and walk with me real quick talk, talk to me real quick all right see the Lord put new commandments on the scene he said a new commandment I write on to you man he was adding stuff on he was saying if you even look at a woman in lust who's a married woman you committed adultery in your heart man you already committed adultery if you hate your brother in your heart, you don't commit murder. So the, the stakes is higher now, man. You can't do away with no law. That's madness. And you know what? That doesn't even make any sense. You go do away with the rules in your house, and you see how things are going to turn out for you, you damn hypocrite. Hypocrite, man. He came, he came and fulfilled the law. What I mean, when he came with a garment on. Talking to those Christian pastors, or whoever the hell you are, to say the law is done away with. You damn hypocrites, man. The Lord talked about you in Matthew, the 23rd chapter. Well, you know what's funny about that is, brother, they talking about, oh, they say the laws are done away with, right? Well, first of all, the law is not done away with. Yahweh Shai came with a beard on his face. Yahweh Shai came with a long garment on. Down to the foot. Down to the foot. Like this, right? With fringes on. He didn't eat pork, lobster, shrimp. And crab, he didn't eat none of that when he was on the scene. None of that. He kept the Sabbath. He went into the temple. He was praying. Yahweh Shai did things of that nature. And I said, what, what the? Listen, I ain't even going. Let's see. Go ahead. You got it. John, chapter 10, <laughs> verse 25. Yahweh Shai answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Right. But he, he's lucky. If he does it in his father's name, he's doing it because his father sent him to do it, and he's representing his father. Right? I know. But ye I know. believe not, because ye are not of my seed. As oh. I said unto you. Oh, 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 wait, 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 what? What? He was talking to those wicked ass Israelites. Wait, and not those... of my sheep? You said it wasn't sheep, brother. Uh -huh, but, but this is verse 26. So you got to but... say that, say that again. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm reading it again. Yep. Yeah. So John good. chapter 10, verse 26. I got a point. Wait. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, uh, as now, I said unto you. Now stay right there. Okay. Now the Lord said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he said, ye are not of my sheep. Is that selective salvation, brother? Wait, wait, wait. Are you guys talking about selective salvation? That guy sounded like goddamn Space Leaf Rocket. Right? Remember that shit? <laughs> it's probably gone. Yeah, yeah. that was behind that's this time. Right? That was before your time, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, he was just coming up. He was just, he was just coming up. up. <laughs> <laughs> it was on rerun by the time he came up. By the time he came up in the 90s, it was on rerun. He <laughs> do oh, But read that one more time. <laughs> this is John. Chapter 10, I'm chapter sorry. 10, verse 26. Yeah. Go ahead. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. That's right. right. Now, this was wicked ass Israelites. This is wicked ass Israelites that was on the scene. And they didn't believe what Yahweh Shine was saying. Okay? And he was telling them, You're not of my sheep. You're not a, you're not of I didn't come. You wasn't elected, pretty much. And that's he, what he was saying. And he said, I have not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, that's, that's lame. Now, does that not mean that they're not Israelites? No, they, they're still Israelites, but they're just wicked Israelites who didn't believe in the Messiah. These are non non messianic Jews, man. They was called they, they was they were they didn't believe that they that he was the Messiah. They didn't believe in the New Testament pretty much as as it is today. A lot of our people don't believe in the New Testament. May I get a scripture? Yeah, go ahead, brother. This is Romans nine and verse number six. Not as though the word of God had taken none effect, uh -huh. but they are not all Israel which 
to of Israel. And that's right. They're talking about Israelites. They are not. Read that one more time. Woo. I think they choked on. This is Romans 9 and verse 6. Yeah. Not as though the word of God had taken none effect, uh -huh. for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Now, does that, does, that, does that say that they're not Israelites? No, they're Israelites, but they didn't. They just didn't believe. They're like today. Today's Israelites, so-called, because they, they, they just niggas, really, man. I'm just going to keep it 100. Our people are really a bunch of niggas, okay? They don't believe in what we teach. They don't believe in the Messiah. And when you don't believe in the Messiah, but the scriptures say, if you don't, if you have the Father, you have the Son. If you have the Son, you have the Father. So if you don't believe in that, then obviously destruction is coming to you, man. Just to believe real quick. Real quick. Real, real, let seven. them get this. Yeah. Neither ahead. because they are the seed of Abraham uh -huh. are they called, so like you, are they children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. In Isaac shall thy seed be called. That's where the promise is at. Oh, hold on. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I Go got on. you. Go ahead. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Are counted for the seed. That's talking about the seed. Hey, man. And look at, like it said earlier, the children of the promise. Who are the promises for? Israelites. The covenant was for Israelites. The Lord said he wouldn't alter that thing that he promised to David out of his lips. He's not going to change the covenant, man. That's it. And like we say, man, look, man, we're not even mad at you really like that, man. We hate it, but we're not mad. Uh, we understand that the Lord has a chosen, he has, a, he has an elect that he, that he chose to get this truth. Like it tells you in Romans, the 11th chapter, the 7th verse. So guess what? Those men that were elected, electos, right? They're the ones who are going to get it. They're the ones, Lord willing, who are going to receive salvation, whether they endure to the end. That's it's why. just that simple, man. And let's cover this John 3, 16 uh, stuff, man. Right. As you people think God so loved the world, but there's multiple words for world. The brother talked about eon. Yeah, eon yeah. That's an age. Yeah. Same word. If you read it in English, it'd be world. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's oikomene. Mm -hmm. Oikomene yeah. means the all the world and the inhabitants thereof. Entire, the entirety entire. of the world and its inhabitants, man. And or the universe, man. And the galaxy. <laughs> and, the galaxy and then you got cosmos, which is a, 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 a selected an arrangement. A arrangement. A particular right? sort. A particular man. sort. So like an is, arrangement of flowers. Like, yeah, like an arrangement of flowers. So what does that consist of? The covenant. Okay. The covenant is okay. the arrangement. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. This is John chapter 10, verse 26. I'm starting to get but ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. For my sheep hear my voice. Right, for the sheep hear the voice, right? And that's the Israel, that's the ones who the Lord woke up. The sheep. A sheep is, is harmless. Those are the ones who hear the voice of the Lord, man. Okay? And he's going to set with them. Go ahead. And I know them, and they follow me. I know them, and they follow me. That's like, that's like, can I get that real quick? In Matthew where the Lord said, you shall follow me in the regeneration. I forgot where it is exactly. Let me see if I can find it. Bro. Okay, yeah, go ahead, brother. Search I got it up. So go ahead, brother. Give it this is down. Romans chapter 9 and 27. Got it. Isaiah cry, also crieth concerning Israel. So the number of the children of Israel. Did you notice the theme in here, brothers? It's, it's kind the, of funny. It's the, even though the word of the New Testament is for all, everybody. For some reason, they keep on talking about Israel all the time. Why is that? Yeah, it's just weird. Pastor don't know why. He just said, look, you know, blah, 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 blah. look over there, look over there. Give me money. Ah, get his pocket. Grab his pocket. <laughs> grab his pocket, brother. Grab hey, yo, my pocket. Deacon, Deacon, come pray for this boy. Pray for this young man. I got to go. I got to go. I got to meet him right now, son. And the Deacon, Deacon, come on here and pray for this man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go send, go, go send the deacon over there, man. We're going to cash his checks. Yeah, to do your dirty work, man. Yeah. What y'all collected deacon dues, but that's not even biblical, man. No way. Ain't no goddamn deacon dues. Because you're a deacon, brother, which really don't change deacon, none besides you and, and this person. Board. You're just going to have to give an extra $40 a week. All right? Wow. Or $30 a little month or whatever. Oh. $30 a month that's times that's 30 up. people, man. That's a hell of a lot of money, man. And think about it, if it's, a major, <laughs> if it's a major congregation with more than a thousand people, 
Damn. Oh, yo, you just What's the tides, bro? Why you need a million dollar church? Why don't you just go into a big ass baseball field? What's the difference, man? You know what the difference is? The level of wickedness, man. Because the Lord said that I do, that dwelleth not in temples. How be it that the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands? That's Acts chapter 7 and verse, I believe, is 48. How be it that the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands? Now, let me finish the scripture. This is Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. A remnant shall be saved. That's an elect. Okay? Yeah, the Lord, the Lord. Go ahead, read, brother. I don't even want to play. Read. <laughs> hey, check it. Verse 28. For he will finish the work huh. and cut it short in righteousness. He will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. Go ahead. Because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. The <laughs> Lord is going to make a short work. Meaning when he come back here in a chariot, when he comes back in a chariot and the angels come with him, it's going to be a short work. It's going to, he coming to deliver the nation, to deliver the elect, right? And he's coming to destroy. That's his job. Easy work easy was, was work. first founded from the Bible here in Romans the ninth <laughs> chapter. All right? Mayweather talk about easy work. Well, the Lord, the Lord, Lord making that. short work. The Lord's going to make short work. Short work, man. Easy. I, I got another one. Go ahead, Verse brother. 29. And as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of the Sabaoth had left us a seed. The Lord of the Lord of armies, because Sabaoth means armies. The Lord of armies. Go ahead. You'll get Isaiah 1 and 9 on I that. I got it. I got it. It says, had left us a seed. We had been as Sodom, Sodom, uh, uh, Sodoma, it says, mm -hmm. which really Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom. But it says, and been made like unto Gomorrah. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness have obtained the righteousness, even the righteousness of faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, had not attained to the law of righteousness. Wait, so wait a minute. The law said he could, he could have destroyed us at any point. Right. Sodom and Gomorrah, right? He said he could have destroyed us, like Sodom and Gomorrah. He could have destroyed the whole nation of Israel and created a whole new nation if he wanted to. Go ahead, right. brother. Right, and this is talking about faith. Faith. So the Gentiles wouldn't have faith, or the Israelite foreigners wouldn't have faith unless it was through the, through the power of the Most High, through the preaching of the gospel. Yeah. All right? Which is counted now righteousness unto them, man. Oh, yeah, this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, yeah. that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Uh -huh, which I, you have followed me in the regeneration. Can I get that? Real quick, brother. What oh, you got? Scripture. Uh, it's the same uh, scripture. Oh, yeah, you'll go. No, but read that almighty, but go ahead. Yes. When, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, uh -huh. he shall also sit upon twelve tribes, twelve thrones. Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. That's all why about the disciples. Say that? Why would the Lord say that if He was all about all anybody? And that's and that's talking about technically that's talking about the disciples. We well, just provoking them to jealousy, brother. <laughs> so, so so wait, so say me and this brother's blood brothers, right? Which we are anyway. But I'm just saying, say we just came from the same father, like direct, right? Say we did, right? And then say he'd been gone all my life, or all the brother, all my father's life and mother's life. I've been there faithfully doing my thing, but then he just returned all of a sudden, and then uh, 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 he gets a car, a brand new car, and a brand new house by my mom and my father. That's just like the prodigal son. You see? Now that would make me jealous, because I'd be like, hey man, I've been following this thing. Why the hell he getting everything? He was out there running around, wilding, and now you buying a car for this man? See, what's that got to do with you, man? You know? Because all people are evil, man. They always think about, oh, what, what, what's that have to do with me? All right? But back to the point, the original point was, is that the Lord provoking us to jealousy. He's talking about those people who were following the customs in that time were provoked to jealousy by the Lord sanctifying the believers who were sanctified by the washing of the water by the word of God that was preached to them. As Yahweh Shai said, now ye are clean by the word that I have spoken unto you. 
you got the word of the Lord and then you repented, man. Acts 17 and 30. At the time of this ignorance, the heavenly father winked at. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, which means to return back. Who the hell is going to return back? The Israelites who were scattered to the four corners of the earth. They're the only ones that can come back because they were scattered. Yeah, man. You can't come back if you've already been there, man. You're already there. You don't need to come back. Let me read this, me read this one more time, and I'm going to come with this uppercut. You run that back one more time. It. It's Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. Come with this uppercut. And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, yeah, yeah. when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, the Son of Man is going to sit in the throne of his glory, right? And he's coming back in a chariot. That's how he's coming back. That's the glory that the Lord is coming back in. And he's sitting on the right hand of the Father right now. That's on the, that's on the right hand. But ye also shall sit upon the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, now that's talking about the disciples, but you got all of the, you got all of the uh, brothers who woken up, the elect brothers, Lord willing, out here teaching his truth okay now i got this here real quick this is acts acts 1 in verse 8 it says but ye shall receive power after that the holy spirit has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses witnesses just right here witnesses that's witnesses in the regeneration witnesses unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth and right now we're in the uttermost part of the earth. The earth goes from all the way from the west to the east. So guess what? You got brothers all over the four corners of the earth preaching his word. Right. And so now we're witnesses. And when Yahweh Shai through Paul said that, uh, this scripture here, let me just say this real quick. Go ahead. This is uh, Romans 11. Uh... Israel shall be saved. Okay, yeah, here it is. Yeah. Okay, this is Romans 11 and verse 26. And and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, that shall come out of Sion a deliverer that shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Wait, that that, that said all the other nations, or that said Israel? Ungodliness from Jacob. Jacob, which is synonymous with the twelve tribes. Now, one thing I also want to cover too, man. Is um this is here, this is Romans eleven and seven. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for? Right. Well, what are, what are, what are our people seeking for? They're seeking for the truth. But obviously they ain't gonna get it because the Lord blocked the truth off from from getting it. Only the elect is gonna get it. Go ahead. But the election have obtained it, mm. but the rest were blind. The election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. That's why our people come up here and say that word that you're talking about is garbage. And now let me break this down as well. The election I've obtained it through faith. Through faith. Not by the works of the law. Now let me break it down because a lot of people cannot understand this because the way Paul wrote it. Peter talked about it. His letters are hard to be understood. That's this ain't going to make sense it. until we tell you why it makes sense. What? This is uh, Romans 9 and verse number 31. Yep. Now, now, uh, verse number 30, actually. It says, What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness, righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith? Even the righteousness which is of faith. That's why you don't get righteousness by the works of the law. You get righteousness through faith by doing the works of the law. See, that was a stumbling block on the Israel. Wait, faith? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I thought we were supposed to just keep the law. That's why James said what he said. You are supposed to keep the law, but you're supposed to believe in Yahweh Shai for righteousness. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's the works of the law is a stumbling block. Let me, I'm going to read it, man. Verse 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Do you understand what that means? No, you don't. Because I'll tell you why. You're thinking that through the law, he's saying 
Those people think that by the law they're going to obtain righteousness. And you brothers need to, hold, hold on, listen to what I'm saying. This is, serious. Uh, this is real tough to say this. This even hard. I, if I say this the wrong way, I'll mess it up. I'm hearing what you say. The Lord going to say it. So Israel was thinking that through the law they was going to get righteousness. No, that's not the elect. That was the stumbling block it says here. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Check it out, verse 32. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at the stumbling stone, as it is written, behold, Whoa, oh, he's ripping pages. I lay a stumbling block in Slaki. I will lay in Sion a stumbling block, a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Right, you see all the people believe on Yahweh Shai, Yahweh on Yahweh Shai shall not be ashamed. That's what it's saying. Right, it's by faith. Faith, not by the law. The law is not going to get you saved. But guess what? We break the law every day. And those people, <laughs> exactly. And those people thought that they were going to obtain righteousness through keeping the law, but they wasn't keeping it, man. As is written in Romans, the third chapter. Yeah, the law Nobody being, is, is, is righteous, man. Perfect, man. The law is being broken every day here in this place, man. So you cannot be saved through the law. You're going to be saved. That's not how you obtain the law of righteousness. That was the stumbling block laid in Israel, and it's still a stumbling block today. Yeah. Still they still don't know, brother. We don't keep the law. That ain't gonna save us. Yes, that's correct. But we rehearse. But you have to. Sense. Yeah, you have to still keep it, though, man. That's why. That's why you see brothers out here with beards on their face. Yeah. That's why you see brothers keeping the Sabbath to the best of their ability. Right. That's why you see brothers keeping the Passover. That's why you see brothers doing all the high holy days and keeping the high holy days to the best of their abilities, man. Okay. Now we know that's not gonna get us saved that way, but. We know by our faith and works, without faith, works is dead. James said, should we go there and get James? Yeah, faith without works is dead. Should we go there and get the book of James? Oh, man, that's what I'm thinking about. Yep. Faith, faith, faith without works is dead. Being alone. Being alone. If a man said, I got faith, but he, but, and he got works, so they differ in that respect. One keeps the law, the other guy sits on his couch and says, well, I just got faith. But well, this guy says, well, show me your faith without your works. Right. Basically, you're a damn hypocrite. You're a liar. And you're pretending to, to be a man of the Lord. Are you going out? Okay? So the stumbling block is just that. Yeah. We got to keep the law? What do you mean? We're well, 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 we, we, we going to keep the law to get salvation. We don't need this Yahweh Shai. We, need, we just need salvation. That's the stumbling block. Right. You thought you was going to get salvation by the law alone? Yeah. That's the stumbling block. Not keeping the law, you dummies, you Christian pastors. Keeping the law is not a stumbling block. It's the fact that you think uh, that the Gentiles, or so like the Israelites back in the day, thought that the, the law alone, keeping the law alone was going to save them, man. Yeah, yeah, they did work that way. It was the law of righteousness is obtained through keeping the law with faith in Yahweh Shai, man. In his sacrifice, man. As it is written, from where the prophecies? Hopefully, that I, I said that the right way, man, because it is difficult to state it, but I believe it came out right. You know, I might have to do a video on it. Yeah. This is First Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty-two. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Hamashiach crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Hamashiach, the power of, Yah power of Yahweh, and the wisdom of Yahweh. I, I got to say this real quick. Go ahead. Read, 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 read. I got I to say this real quick because Yahweh Shah was speaking about the law, right? And how the Jews were saying, okay, we want to get salvation through the law. No, but do we make one of the law? What scripture was that you read? First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22. So it says this. This is Romans 3 and 31. Do we do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yeah, we establish the law. So we do keep the law. We have to rehearse the righteous acts. 
to the best of our ability, man. We have to, we have to keep. That's why brothers got a beard on their face, like I said. That's why brothers don't get their heads bald. They don't get shape up. They don't eat lobster, shrimp, and crab and pork. And as I say, that full, full, full trial time. Brothers don't do none of that. You see, so we're not making void of the law. No, we establish the law by keeping it to the best of our ability, simple and plain. But by works, by faith, is how we obtain salvation. Hey, Paul made the distinction between three different types of people, man. Right here, in, uh, this is a deep ass scripture. First Corinthians uh, one and twenty-two. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Yeah. But we preach Yahweh Shai crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, because Yahweh, as I just read, in, in, which is a precept, right? To the, to the other scripture. The stumbling block was faith in Yahweh Shai, yeah. because they were saying, why do we need Yahweh Shai if we just keep the law as our fathers did? Yeah. That's how we're going to get saved. Yeah. Well, it says here, but we preach Yahweh Shai crucified. Unto the Jews a stumbling block, unto the Greeks foolishness. And the Greeks are talking about Israelites. Well, I look, hold on. Look, watch. That one's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, because unto the Greeks foolishness. So unto That's the not, other nations, okay, yeah. unto the other nations is foolishness. But watch this. Now it's talking about it. Yeah, it's like Verse same. 24. Same, same. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, right. Yahweh shied the power of God. There you go. In the wisdom of God. So that's powerful. See, Paul was jumping back and forth from Israelites. Now we're talking about the actual Gentiles, the real other nations. Now we're talking about the Israelite foreigner Gentiles. Now we're talking about the Gentiles who are Israelites. Now we're talking about the Greeks now, the actual other nations. See, now you people got to break it down, man. You got to know what's going on. Predominantly... It's talking about, when it's in contrast, it's talking about Israelite foreigners. Yeah. But sometimes, it just needs to be inspected, that's all. Because yeah. he was line making, by line. He was making a contrast. He was talking about Israelite foreigners, and then he was talking about the actual group. See? You understand? You got to you gotta be able to go and break it down the yep. correct way. Rightly divide the word of truth. Right. And the Lord only sups with you when you take the time to go in. He'll give you the power and the spirit, man, to understand. Yeah, I got it. Go up. So, so, Paul did, so when Paul's journey, he did a few journeys, by the way. Right? He was looking for Israelites. That's what he was looking for. He wasn't looking for the other nations. That's where they get it. They, that's where they get the Bible misconstrued in these in these uh false pastors in these churches. Think that the Lord, I uh, think that the Lord put the spirit on Paul to go look for the other nations. No, the Lord put the spirit on Paul to go look for Israelites. That's what we're going to look for. Okay? So the pastor in your church is a damn liar. And I'll tell him to his face if he was to come up here that he's a liar. And he's just robbing you for your money. And it's a fact, man. All right? Okay? Go ahead. All right. What else you got over there, brother? That was it on that? All right. We'll go uh, jump, jump over here. Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, started the first verse, brother. Let me get that. Now, this, this is what we talk about the signs and the times and how salvation and what things is going on. These are prophecies. Things that's hit. Bye bye, bye bye. Things that's hit. Second Ezra, right. chapter 9, verse 1. Chapter 9, verse 1. Right. 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 The answer me then it said, Measure thou time diligently in itself. Right. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Thou seest the part of the signs past which I have told thee before. Right. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to, vi to visit the world which he made. Right. And the Lord is visiting this world which he made. You got hurt. You got hurricanes. You got earthquakes. You got uproars of the people. You got people going just completely ham, man. Chariot sightings. You got all these things going on, man. Evil eyes towards the uh, evil eye towards your neighbor, man. Looking at your neighbor like he'll play the fool right now, man. And it's gonna get worse. Go ahead. 
Therefore, of when there shall be seen earthquakes uh -huh. and uproars of the people in the world. Uproars of the people in the world. And it's going on all over the place. Just because Esau don't put it on his media, he give you this damn BLM garbage. Right? There's, there's stuff going on overseas, man. Venezuela, Honduras, all these places. There's everything uproars, man. It's going on. Go ahead. And shalt thou well understand that the Most High, Yahweh, spake of those things from the days that, that, that were before thee. Right, from the beginning of time. Okay. Even from the beginning. Even from the beginning. Damn, I even jumped ahead. My bad, brother. Go ahead. For like what? as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end. Right, for all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end. Nothing lasts forever, man. This so-called white man's kingdom ain't gonna last forever. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you loving this place like, like, like that McDonald's commercial. I'm loving it. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> right? It ain't gonna last forever, man. You know, it ain't gonna last forever. It's gonna have an end. The Most High gonna end this damn place, man. The Most High gonna get rid of wickedness. Sweet tea, sweet tea, sweet tea. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Brother, yeah, these people are loving Babylon, man. Huh? They loving this they place. They literally sing it out in the streets, man. How yeah. loving it? How? But, that, but, that's the thing, man. But hold on, how What the hell are you loving, though? You love being oppressed. You love wearing a damn mask every day. You love your oppressor telling you what to do they and where to go. Shit. Hey, man, our people are really sick and tired of wearing the goddamn masks, man. Really, everybody's sick of that shit. They about to revolt. Uh, that's why they. It's about to get. Ugly they out there out here, revolting man. as we speak. Yeah. Actually, about that shit. Jeez. Overseas, oh, sick and tired oh, of the goddamn mask. What is that? Uproars of the people. Yeah, and they want the proof. They're like, show us the goddamn proof. Right? Hey, uproars of the people. Because right, right now, we just going off the word of what these people are saying. Right. Hey, man, you got to wear a mask. Right. It's recommended, you know. C -C. Oh, really? C -C. Well, did you show any of us the, the fucking hardcore proof? It's like it. It's like it. You know, did you? We <laughs> <laughs> need to throw it out there like that. We <laughs> need to throw it out there like that. Did you show us the hardcore proof? No. So we're just supposed to take the word of the devil? Yeah. Well, we ain't doing it. Hold on, I got something real quick. You got something? Okay. Proverbs 28 and 18. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. Wow. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Right. Whoso walketh. Read that one more time. Read that one more time. All right. Read that one more time. It's Proverbs 28 and 18. Uh -huh. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. Keeping the law, <laughs> statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Right? <laughs> Walking upright. Giving all praises to your by Sumi Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Perverse, meaning you're going backwards, man. You're going, you're going left field, man. That's perverse. You're going against the righteousness of the Lord. That's right. You're going against the righteousness of the Lord, man. That's false, man. Okay? Now, I understand what Paul said. Paul said, it's not me that sin, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right? So when a brother goes off, okay. or when a brother <laughs> gone, right? When a brother goes off, he repents for it, man. Because he know he made a mistake. Get this bird shit out the sky. Yeah. Oh, get that swatted out the sky. <laughs> you know, when a brother goes off, or if a brother goes off, he repents automatically, man. But what he did, you go pray to the heavenly fathers. So, you know, you know, you know. Things of that nature. I got something. One more. You got one more. Brother. Yeah, one more. Okay, go ahead. It's Isaiah 45 and 17. Right. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. That's the world in John 3 16. We're talking about that don't have no end because the brother read Psalms 89. Verse 34, Israel and David's line, David's seed, the heavenly father said, I will not alter the thing that is the covenant that I've made with David and his seed for an everlasting covenant, man, forever as the days of heaven, as the, as the days of the stars of heaven, man, and in the moon. Hey, wasn't gonna change I will not life. change it, man. Yeah, 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 shake your head at that, lady. Yeah, as the, as at the that. sound. As the sun is the doctor. 
called it, man. It was the Yahweh Shai. It was astonished. And man. this is the doctrine that we're teaching of Yahweh Shai. So yeah. guess what? We're going to be astonished. And he said, Master, who then shall be saved? Who then can be saved? He said, it's, it's impossible with men, but with the Heavenly Father, all things are possible, man. You know, you know why they're looking at us like that, brother? Because we're coming like men. And this world, they want you to be a damn sin. They want you to be a simpleton nigga and do what this world tells you to do. So we're coming with that strong aggression as men, and they don't like that, man. Right. They don't like that. Right? Because right. really, honestly, truthfully, these women shouldn't be walking around by themselves, man. You're supposed to have your husband. You ain't supposed to be gathering abroad with tight-ass pants on. Matter of fact, he's supposed to be in the damn house. You're going off. We don't condone we, any of that. We tell man. you what the Lord going to do to you, what yep. the Heavenly Father and His Son going to do to you. That's all we need right. to tell you. We're not going to do anything physical to you because that's not of our nature. As it is written in the book of Jude, uh, I, I believe, or somewhere else, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade Amen. men. Through the terror of the Lord. And that, goes, that correlates with what we just said. That's right. Through the terror, we persuade men. Because the scriptures say, if they speak not according to this word, there's it's no because there's no light in them. If you don't speak according to the word of the Heavenly Father, it's because there's no light in you. Isaiah 8 and 20. That's right, that's right. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Heavenly Father. Everything we're saying is from the prophecies in the scripture. The name is Yahweh Shai. It's not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a Greek name. You got to stop praying in the name of Jesus Christ, man. You got to cut that out, man. You got to stop that blasphemy, man. All of that stuff is blasphemy. You ain't know. The Lord going to destroy you. The Lord going to kill you. Bunch of fucking demons, man. She's not here for saying that. She's not with a blow, Papa. What she saying? She was saying something with you. Oh, no, she said something with you, right? She was scoffing. Yeah, she was saying something. You want to know why she was scoffing? Because she was talking about the white Jesus. The name Jesus is talking about the white man to them. They didn't like that. They didn't like that. They didn't like that. Because the so-called black women love the white man. They love the 
you know what? Hand in hand. That goes back to even what? The so-called white man in the garden, right? Right. There you go. See, the so-called black woman in slavery had a spot inside the house as a bed wench. That's not that bad of a position because you get to be in the house, you get sex, you get food, you kind of comfortable. You see? You can talk talk about your man, get away with it. Now the men, we had to be out there in the field getting whipped, getting beat down, catching hell, getting put to death. And why? Because all men are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because they ain't keeping the commandments. Because you're listening to your fat cat pastor talking about the laws done away with. Now look where that's got you, man. Nowhere. Broke, homeless, and destroyed. Or when Jake, or, or, or like this example, <laughs> how it I don't know, when Jake didn't want to eat, they would bust your teeth out with a, uh, 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 and force you to eat, man. Yeah, that didn't happen to the woman, because the I woman did. That, that ain't happening with them. They did that to the men, because the men didn't want to eat that garbage that they was feeding us, man. They'd rather die. They'd rather die. Yeah, they'd rather die. So they busting their mouth open and busting their teeth out. That was in the uh, 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 oh, Nat Turner like, movie. Was Con, that was uh, in the Nat Turner movie. That was in the Birth of a Nation. Birth of a Nation. And my wife at the time was, was scoffing at that, man. I know you was Bro, she was scoffing when the men was hanging from the tree, man. You was laughing when men were hanging from a tree. That's why the Lord, hey, that's why the Lord judged her ass. That's why she got judgment. And you know what? Yeah, I was Shalak right on my dumb bird, man. Her master, you see what her master, her master is boss lady. Yes, crazy. Uh, you will see if you're the boss lady, all right? Crazy. You know what? Yeah, she probably in bed with mm-hmm. the boss. Probably she's she in bed with the boss, and she's the lady. So crazy. it's kind of befitting of her role. Where is that, right? Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, don't say it. Don't say it. Hey, don't say it. Don't say it. Go ahead. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. Uh-huh. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of Yahweh. Lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble, trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or Ooh. profane person as Esau. As Esau. Well, uh, uh, who, who's uh, Esau? Uh, who's Esau? Uh, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? Who for one morsel of meat? You want me to get that? Here it is right here. So, hey, Esau. This is gonna be your red ass. This is, this is, this is, this is your judgment at the end of the day, you saw. This because you sold your birthright. That's what you're gonna get. This is what you're gonna get. This is what your kingdom gonna get, man. Okay? Matter of fact, can I get second at this? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish that yeah, yeah, ahead. Verse 17. For you know how that afterwards, when he would have inherited his blessing, mm. would have. Would have. Would have. He was rejected. Uh. He was what? He was rejected. Esau, the so-called white man, was what? He was rejected. He was rejected. Lord didn't want you. For he's he dealing with you, man. Go ahead. He for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So that's proof that not everybody can repent. Nope. They say, well, anybody can repent. Well, the Lord, that's not that's not biblical. That's not true. Because Esau and the Edomites cannot repent. You have to be an Israelite to repent. Right. You got to be from one of the 12 tribes of Israel to repent. Only these people in the sun can repent. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans can repent. This goddamn demon, he can't repent. This crap. Go ahead. Um, what was that? Oh, I thought the second chapter. The sixth chapter. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? It's the second five. Ezra, chapter 6, verse 5. Uh-huh. And as the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now seen were turned, okay. before they were sealed, that have gathered faith for a treasure. Mm-hmm. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone. And through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. So the Lord said he's gonna end this place. None other. Ain't nobody else gonna do it but Yahweh, but Yahweh, but Yahweh shot. Go ahead, brother, continue on. Then answered I and said, What shall be the party and sender of the time? Uh-huh. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it 
They're filled with it. End of the first, he's talking about Esau. End of the first, meaning his rulership, his age, his kingdom. This is going to be ended. It's going to be ended like this. Like that. That I, that the ICBM missile is going to end America. You ain't going to watch your whole family grow, your kids grow up. America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Take that to the face. All right? Verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, and Jacob's hand held, held first the heel of Esau. That's symbolic, going all the way back to the beginning. He was telling them that, guess what? We're going to take you out of power. Right? The scriptures say that, that the chase shall take the kingdom. And that's what we're going to do. Go ahead. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Esau is the end of the age, and end of a rulership, and Jacob is the beginning of a rulership that's going to follow. And guess what? When this was written, right? This was written around, I want to say 500, between 500 and uh, 440 ish BC. Before Yahweh Shai came. Second book of Ezra. Ezra means Ezra in the Bible. Ezra and Ezra is the same guy. between these two accounts is a gap of nearly six decades during which uh, 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 Esther lives and rules as queen in Persia. Ezra is the, Ezra is from the Hebrew word Azar, or Ezar, help, and perhaps means our help. Wow. Woo! <laughs> it's a red player on him. Woo! <laughs> oh, check it out right here, check it out right here, brother. It says Ezra and Nehemiah were originally bond together as one book because of Chronicles. Ezra and Nehemiah, Nehemiah were viewed as one continuous history. The Septuagint. Uh oh. Right? The Septuagint. Uh oh. A Greek language version of the Old Testament translated in the third century BC calls Ezra and Nehemiah Ezra Esdras. The book of Esdras. Same person. It says, it says, uh, Deuteronomy, the second, second Ezra. What did I say? Second Ezra. Second Ezra. That's in the Holy Bible. That's in, that's in the King James Version, regular Bible. It says, first, without the apocryphal. Go ahead. It says, first Ezra. First is, Ezra is the name of the apocryphal book of Ezra, Woo! which is Ezra. Ezra. That's right. It says the Latin title. The Latin title was Lebra Thomas Ezri, first book of Ezra. In the Latin Bible, Ezra is called first Ezra, and Nehemiah is called second Ezra. So there you go. So guess what? Ezra and the apocrypher is Ezra. And Nehemiah, they all and go Nehemiah, together. They're they supposed to be in sequential order. 
That's so, why when, when you got the 1611 King James Bible, right you here. got the real deal. It's all right there. It's all in one. It's all in one. That's why they separated or extrapolated <laughs> to remove the <laughs> to remove the whole history. Okay, now it's all good. To remove the whole history of the third kingdom prophesied in Daniel. Because how you gonna how you gonna figure out what's going on if you ain't got that book? You can't figure out nothing. All the history's been taken away. And you don't know who you are if you don't know where you've been at. That's why they removed the history from the birth. They removed the book of Ezra. They removed that book. Maccabees, the book of Maccabees. What you think Hanukkah is? The book of Baruch. Baruch was the scribe of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a scribe. Jeremiah was a prophet. And Baruch was a scribe of Jeremiah. And they said to keep the commandments. But you ain't supposed to be walking around wearing pants. Baruch was your woman. Baruch was Jeremiah's understudy. He was the one who was writing. He was the one who was writing for uh, uh, Jeremiah, man. During that time, man. As a matter of fact, when you go into the uh, book of Jeremiah, it says Baruch in it. It does. It says, it says remember, yep. I brought that out down in Philly. Remember that? Yep. In the book of Baruch, actually, Baruch, the scribe of Jeremiah, was told to write down what Jeremiah said. So don't tell me that those books are. Listen, bro. Yo, listen, bro. I got to go walk ahead, man. Don't I tell got me that. that those books are not real. Don't tell me that the Most High is not dealing with those men that are written in that apocalypse. Go ahead, brother. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 12. Uh-huh. And I gave the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, <laughs> oh, the son of oh. Messiah, oh. in the sight of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, and in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the purchase before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. Damn. And I charged Baruch Damn. before them, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these evidences, this evidence of purchase, both which is sealed and this evidence which is open, and put them in an earthly, earthen vessel, Ooh. that they may continue many days. Right here. That's the book. That's the book. Baruch, the book of Baruch, man. Baruch is a Baruch, that book right there. So you got guys out there who saying that this book is not true. Well, guess what? It's true as hell. And it's inspired by the Heavenly Father. So don't say that it ain't real. You're a damn liar. Let me get this. This is the book of Baruch, the scribe of Jeremiah. The scribe means you're supposed to record something there. <laughs> That's where you get the word scribble. Where you get the word scribble from. Meaning right. Describe, to inscribe something. Uh, Make it right. a scripture to scribble okay. down, so scribble that down. Hey, scribble it down, man. Yeah, write that down. Scribble that down. Scribble that down, Baruch. Scribble this down. Here. Right. Yeah, We're gonna, we gonna give you the word of the Lord. This Baruch four and one. This book of the commandments of God. Uh, this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. Endureth forever. Go ahead. All they that keep it shall come to life. All that in that keep it shall come to life. Go ahead, brother. But such as leave it shall die. Such as leave it shall die. Your at your ASAP sap will perish. Verse Go 2. Ahead. Turn thee, O Jacob, mm. which is synonymous with the 12 tribes of Israel, because Isaac had a son called Jacob. But hold on, brother. If the book of Baruch is not real, why is he talking about Jacob and Baruch? Why is Baruch talking about Jacob, man? And here's the thing, Isaac had a son, Jacob and Esau. Jacob inherited the blessings, and the Lord put by Esau, told him to kick rocks. Get out of here. Although he sought it carefully with tears, the Lord only chose Jacob, a.k.a. the 12 tribes of Israel, a.k.a. the chosen people of the Most High, a.k.a. who the Lord made the covenant with for all eternity, man. And a.k.a where the salvation is going to end up at with the nation of Israel. But this thing is all about salvation. But mainly the elect is going to get saved. Let me rephrase that. But even though it says in Romans the 11th chapter in the 26th verse, uh, 
all Israel shall be saved, but two thirds of them, they gotta catch death first. They are gonna die in the first go round. They gotta catch death. They gonna get on the second bus to come. That's right. The first bus is coming to get the Israelites to the elect. Mm -hmm. The second bus is going to, well really that's reincarnation in the kingdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. After death by pain. Your ass gonna learn after death by pain. Now let me get some real quick. Finish this off. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4 and verse number 3. Yeah. Give not thine honor, or Slaki, verse uh, 2. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. This is walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give, yeah. yep, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to Heavenly Father are made known unto us. Wow, hey, the us. sun came out on then that. Then the sun came out on that. That's crazy. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Wow. Yasha Allah. Zechariah chapter 13, oh, verse 8. Yeah, oh, it is. Hold on, brother. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Yeah, in all the land, saith Yahweh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Two parts is what? Two parts of the nation of Israel. All these people on the side, two thirds of them going to be dead. When the Lord Yahweh shine, who the world calls Jesus Christ, come and bury your ass. Go ahead. And I will bring the part, the third part, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part, the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. Yeah, what do you think we're going through now? The refining process. Yeah, Catching yeah. hell. Out, Sacrificing our lives, women. All of that shit that the Gentiles seek. But the Lord said, what? Seek first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you, my hey, friend. When you, when you purge something. And the sun came out on you. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you when you want to purify, when you want to purify something, you got to purge out all the iniquities out of it, right? Well, you got to get the pureness of it, right? So guess what? We're being put on trial right now. We're being tested. Our faith is being tested. Every day we go through a trial run. No matter what, the Most High always puts you through a trial run, no matter what it is, man. To see if you truly have faith in it, man. Or to see if you're going to buckle down, man. Okay? To see if you're going to walk away from this thing. And I know plenty of guys are going to walk away from this thing. And that's wicked. She shouldn't even be wearing it. And I ain't, whatever. But. <laughs> yeah, and it means right there. That's, that's crazy. as hell, man. Um, but they like that. They want the attention. They want the prostitution of their woman, man. Right. You got to purify all the, the, the impurities out of a person, man. And that's what we're doing that trial run right now. Right, like training our eyes not to look at this filthy ass, these filthy ass people. Man. Just around us, man. It's like everywhere you go. Yeah, putting it out there, where's yeah. my woman, here's my girl yeah. with a big fat ass. You're going off, man. Yeah. Hey, that's going the hell off. You ain't got the heart to be. See, here's the thing. You either be alone or you deal with the adulterous woman. Because she, she wiped with her mouth and said, I have done, done no, no wrong. I've done no wicked. I see the queen. That, that's just like Babylon. Who's going to take me down to the ground? That, that's, a queen. What, that's what America, that's what Babylon is talking about. Matter of fact, they call themselves empresses. Remember that girl that called herself an empress? Hey, remember the status I showed you on Facebook that she said? I'm catching hell. I have such a broken heart. Shalak <laughs> 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 Rayam. On your hands. And it came to pass. Hey, man, when we say Shalak Rayam, I mean, we talking about the Lord sending evil upon you, man. That Barack is you how about shit, you how about shot. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, uh, your life is like a, literally like a story. It's like a story, man. Go ahead, brother. It's a real tale of justice and judgment and perseverance. Hey, we're going to be watching this in the kingdom, man. Oh, yeah, Okay, go ahead.
This is, this is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Uh -huh. And we will find that the silver is refined. Right, and that's the third part is talking about the one the elect. Right. It will try them as gold is tried. It will Woo! try them as gold is tried. Like I like I explained, when you purify something or you want something to be pure, you gotta purge out all of the, the impurities out of it. Yep. Go ahead. They shall call on my name. And who calls on the name? The, the men who are out here teaching. No, anybody. No, no, no. The men who are out here <laughs> teaching. Yeah, the people the, the elect. The elect is gonna call on the name of your high boss and your Right. The other people are they're gonna not look to that. They don't look to Yahweh Shai to be a. That's why Yahweh Shai is a stumbling block unto them. All right, he's a stumbling block and a rock of offense. These people are offended at the Lord, They're offended at the righteousness of the Lord. They're offended at the name of Yahweh Shai. They don't want to go through the pathway they're supposed to go because Israel is a stupid people as a whole. The majority of Israel is very stupid, man. Two thirds to be exact, and they're gonna die in their iniquities and their sins. And, and, I will, the Lord. and I will hear them, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Mm. Yeah, Israel, Israelites. The Lord is my power. Of course, the lot of the Lord's inheritance is Jacob, or Israel. The lot of the Lord's inheritance is Jacob. Jacob being synonymous with the 12 tribes of Israel. If your fat cat pastor ain't preaching that Israelites is the only way to be saved, his ass is going to hell off. And the Lord is going to destroy his ass. Because everybody followed Big Mama. Everybody followed Big Mama to church instead of the Israelites from the Bible. You're supposed to be following the men of the Lord. But your father was taken out of the house because of the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Starting with the 16th verse all the way to the 60th verse. That's why you ain't got no might in your hands. That's why you can't be a man in the house no more. As you try to be a man and stop your woman from committing adultery, they go throw your ass under the jail. You can't stop a woman from committing adultery over here because no might is in your hands. Israelite man, so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native American, you ain't got no goddamn power over here in this white man's world. You, we just colored people in the white man's world. Think about that. Yeah, Somebody you don't even know about this truth told me that. He said, man, I'm a colored man in a white man's world. Think about that. And soon, think, and, out, think on that, man. And soon it's going to be reversed. It's going to be reversed. Okay? The most high going to reverse our captivity. Matter so we exterminate that devil. Matter of fact, can I get Lamentations 4 and 21 real quick? Father Bashar and that's a damn officer right there. Thank God, I don't know. The Lamentations yeah, 4 and 21. Unrighteous. Unrighteous is happening. Lamentations 4 and 21. Okay. They can rejoice now. All right. They can rejoice and they can have all their time. The Moabites, Ammonites, you rejoice. You live it up right now with this so called white man. You want to get something real quick? Go ahead, brother. Got uh, it. This got is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 39 and verse number. Um, uh, 26. This is the contrast of what's going to be good for the good and for the wicked. What the Lord made. Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 26. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil and clothing. This is the altar of the Lord, my man. Come step over here real quick if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm about to read the scripture. Read the scripture, brother. You're a little drunk right now. You want to just come read Richard over here so I can tell you? No, he don't want to do it. All right, well, we tried. Anyway, verse 37. Let's like it. Verse number 27. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and they appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. All of them were created for vengeance. Check this. Teeth 
of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. So the Lord got certain things, wild beasts, all right, set for destruction to the wicked and to the godly. It's going to be that separation, man. Certain people going to get their ass put to death on the left hand side of the Lord. Certain people going to be on the right hand side of the Lord and they're going to be delivered. It's all up to the heavenly father. But these spirits that is out here is created for vengeance, man. And the Lord's going to let these spirits loose in the day when he returns back. Because he's sick and tired of this goddamn adultery out here. All right. The white man ruling over the Hispanic and black man. Sick and tired of that, man. But we don't even get jobs no more, man. That they ain't paying us nothing. Then we got to go pay taxes to this devil. We got to buy our food from this devil. We got to buy our water from this devil. We don't have no businesses of our own. I'm sick and tired of that garbage. But soon the Lord's going to destroy this damn place called America. With an ICBM nuclear missile, man. He's going to throw this place to hell. As it should be. That's going to be beautiful, man. That's As it should be. Because the kingdom of heaven has to be established here on the earth. Heaven is just rulership, man. It ain't no secret place you go where people got white robes on and shit. It's talking about being righteous, man. It's going to be established here on the earth. And everything will be put back in order. Everything is going to be put back in order. Because right now, everything is turned upside down. It's out of order. Okay? Women women talking back to men. All right? Men just being goddamn simps. All right? There's no order. The, the, the food is defiled. The water is unclean. Okay, so on and so forth, man. Okay? Go ahead, brother. You got one and one and one. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. All right, listen to this. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Eel. Right, you damn devils, you rejoice, you be glad. All right? You living up in your kingdom right now, because when we get you in the kingdom, boy, it's over for you, boy. Go ahead. See you soon, boy. See you soon, boy. <laughs> like Joel Ramiro. <laughs> See you soon, boy. Not it's not it's not not what the so-called white man called us. When he had us his son, called us boy. He de he de downgraded us like we wasn't men. Called us boys. So guess what, boy? You're gonna be in slavery, subjection, real soon. Go ahead. That dwell us in the land of Uz. That dwell us in the land of Uz, which is America. America has many different names, Babylon, Solomon, Egypt, spiritually, uh, land of us. That's where these devils are ruling at right now. It's America, go ahead. They're not in the land of us. The cup, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. That cup is talking about slavery. You gonna drink the dregs of that cup, man. Just like we had to drink the dregs of that cup, you gonna drink it. Go ahead. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt be made us, and shalt make thyself naked. Uh-huh. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, our punishment is going to be accomplished when Yahweh Shai returns, man. When Yahweh Shai returns to deliver us, Lord willing, out of this place that we're born at elect, you know, our, 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 our captivity is going to be up. Go ahead, brother. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So guess what? We're never going into captivity ever again. That's a promise. Go ahead. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He's going to visit the iniquity, O daughter of Edom, you so-called white people. He's going to visit your iniquity. Go ahead. He will discover thy sin. He's going to discover thy sin. The, the so-called white man, I mean, uh, the, the, the most high, is lifting up your skirt, man. He's lifting up America's skirt. Okay? Matter of fact, let me get Isaiah 40, uh, 47 real quick, brother. Just real quick. We're going to run down on that real quick. Yeah, man, because we're looking to get salvation. We're looking to obtain salvation out of this kingdom. This kingdom's a bullshit. You can't hold down no woman in this kingdom, man. Can't, sure can't. Without arguments, fights, worries of adultery. The Lord said, take, take no thought of your life, man. What you may eat, the raiment, which is your clothing. For the Lord knows that ye have need of such things. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of the most high. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added on to you, man. That's right. You got to seek righteousness of the Lord, which is having faith in Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ. You got to have faith, man. You can't be living blind off your own lust, off your own mind and your own fake logic. 
the heart, which is your mind, is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? You can't understand your own mind. Because you want to do wickedness all the damn time. That's a remix. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, you, you just want to do evil all the damn time. But the Lord's going to require that righteousness of your ass one way or another. Either he's going to purify you with the fire through righteousness, or you're going to purify, purify your ass with the fire of unrighteousness, which is getting torched and blown to smithereens. You're going to be blown to a can of sardines, man. Well, no, I don't feel that, because I'm going to be on that body. Gonna be I ain't messing with that. Brother. I'd rather go through the furnace of adversity than the furnace of having to actually burn for real. Yeah, the real fire, the real fire, more fire, there's going to be some fire for your ass. That's <laughs> chapter 47, verse 1. Go ahead. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Right. Dust is talking about confusion. And the virgin daughter of Babylon is talking about a miracle. Go ahead. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. There is no throne for you, man. Soon your kingdom is going to be over. Deceased. Go ahead. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right. So no, no longer be called tender and delicate, right? Because you, because the, because the fire is going to touch a miracle, man. Fire is going to touch this place. That's right. People gonna get burned, man. That's gonna be your pa. <laughs> well, well, to other people it's foolishness, but to us it's the power of salvation. Because we know that this kingdom can never stand the way it is. Look at all the gum on the floor. Look at your look at your shoes, man. Look at the concrete. Look Cover. at the concrete with the gum on the goddamn concrete. Covering the grass, what you ain't supposed to. This is a wicked act right here. You ain't supposed to put concrete over the grass, over the land, man. This that, man did something wicked. That's wicked as hell. There ain't supposed to be no damn roads like this. Yep. It hurts your feet when you're walking on concrete, man. That's why your knees is hurting every day. Getting shin splints, getting uh, knee pains, back, lower back pains. There's all that pressure. There's no give, man. It's unrighteous. It's a false balance. That's right, brother. Because it don't balance out your body, man. That's correct, brother. Go ahead, brother. Continue on. Verse 2, yep. take the millstones and grind meal. Uh -huh. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover thy thigh, pass over the river. Right, that's what we do. We are covering this man's, we are covering all this man's wickedness. We bringing up all this man's wickedness. We lifting up this man's skirt. When you when you lift up a woman's skirt, meaning you're exposing all her, her goodies, man. And that's how we lifted up America's skirt. Yeah, right their here. Secret, their secret part. Their secret part. The Illuminati ain't even the Illuminati no more. Right, because we expose them. We know what it is. We know who they are. They know who we are. Yeah, the Rothschilds. Why do people know that? Because of the internet. Mm -hmm. They invented the internet, but it ended up, the scriptures say, they shall be caught in their own devices. And the wicked shall be caught up in their own devices, man. Yeah, we. you don't know who we are, but we know who you are, all right? <laughs> all right? That's a good movie. <laughs> so, go ahead, brother. Keep going. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Uh -huh. Yea, they, thy shame shall be seen. Right, and the shame of America is coming out. This place is a shameful place. You had goddamn slavery going on in this damn place, man. But they talk about that it was a good thing. Aborting babies? You so-called white people, you abort babies every goddamn day because you own Planned Parenthood, man. And you funding that joint, man. Goddamn. Uh, what's her name? Singer? See that white man sitting there uh, with the proud, his, proud ass, chest all out, all chest all out, right. head all high. His yeah, ass was like this. He was like this. He was proud as hell, looking at smiling at, him, right? at, at all calamity. It's all good. Uh, Margaret Singer, that damn devil, right? Set up the Planned Parenthood abortions for all of our people, man. They do it like their time in Egypt, where where the, where the, where the Pharaoh said, "Put the firstborn of his kids to death." The firstborn of Israel, because he know that the seed brings back the, uh, the seed. The man brings back the seed, man. Yeah, the, the first man has a seed. The firstborn man child. The firstborn man child. They man. was looking for the man child because, like your brother said, the man brings forth the seed. Yeah. And the seed goes back to genealogy. That's and right. your gene comes from your father, man. <laughs> <laughs> from the Latin word rasa, awesome. which means gene. And your gene comes from, from your father, father man. <laughs> hey, that's funny as hell. So hey, long, Apostle Yeah, Apostle Jarrah was on point with that, man. When you break down the words and you know how to teach it.
teach the scriptures, hey man, you, you know, the Lord said, man, they will listen to you because they listen to me. All right, let's, let's end the ending scripture and we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What you got? That's it on that? That's it on that, brother. I don't need no one. What you got? You got one more? Uh, what you got? I'll decide. Uh, I'm going to get something real quick and then we just end it off. Quick thinking and then we out of here. Quick thinking and then we out of here. Let me see. Let me find something real quick. Okay, okay, okay. I got mine right here. I got one uh, as well. Go ahead. I got yours and I'll get mine. Okay, go ahead. This is Ecclesiasticus, not Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10 and verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Oh, it's well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of men the ruler of the city is. Such are all they that dwell therein. Check this out. This is the kicker. An unwise king, Esau, destroyeth his people that's what's going on but but through the prudence of them which are in authority the city shall be inhabited the power of the earth is in the hand of the lord and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable and that's talking about the israelites and the heavenly father and his son they're going to set over it we're going to be profitable when we come when he comes back under yahweh shot under yahweh shot that's it and i'm gonna end this on this this is first corinthians 9 and verse number 22, to the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in all, run a race, select it, run a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize. The prize? It says, hold on, let me get this thing real by. No, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and verse number 24. Right. Know ye not, they which run in all, run a race, like run a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. So he said a lot of people gonna run, but only one's gonna get the prize. He's making a comparison. Verse number, so run that ye may obtain. Verse 25, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Right, an, in, an incorruptible crown. Which is immortality in the heavenly father's kingdom. We're going to have immortality, man. Eternal life. Through belief in Yahweh Shai. Eternal life, man. Who the world calls Jesus Christ, man. Ignorantly. Well, we're going to end it with that because that's salvation, man. We're going to give all praises, the glory and honor to the heavenly father. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. with us. Double honors to our teachers and apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom. It's Shalom to the hopeful elect, all you brethren that's out there watching, Akwaf as well, who are listening and learning. Keep enduring unto the end so that ye may be saved. Shalom. Shalom.